Punk is cutting a promo and MJF is cutting a promo, or Punk is wrestling QT Marshall, I guess. Yeah, right. which, which one <laughs> are you thinking? I would have booked it a little different if they were actually kicking off with a match. I think. This is Marshall, baby. <laughs> this is a match you don't want to see. The crowd was chanting, shut the fuck up to MJF, and MJF looked at him and said, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. He says, unlike you, I'm not a one-trick pony. I respect everything you've done and the fact that you're straight edge, but I've never imagined someone straight edge could look so much like a meth addict. <laughs> that <laughs> popped me so hard. I feel like oh. that's something everyone has said forever about Punk. Is that he? I don't and think Punk looks that bad though. He was right after this. I can't remember, but he was talking about how yeah. tired he was too. He's got bags yeah. under his eyes, and I said, Punk always, actually, especially forever. In his, his forever. final days in the WWE, he was fucking tired twenty four seven. He looked. Like I mean, even shit. ROH, he had the bags under his eyes. I think that dude just never slept. Actually, I think, yeah, <laughs> I think he's a different person. Uh, I'm disappointed because I heard about the great MJF, and I was the only one that was able to shut you up without saying a word. Damn, got him. And he says, uh, he thinks, you know, MJF, you think you're somebody. He's just a less famous Miz. He's got a ton of suck up blood money covered dick. Fuck, dude. Miz <laughs> you fucking dork. His, Miz talked on his DVD for him, too, and put him over, man. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? Man, I love, that's my, one of my favorite parts <laughs> of the Punk DVD. Miz is like, oh, he's a hard worker. And cuts the Punk. I fucking hate the Miz. <laughs> CM Punk always had that special something that you knew he was going to be good. You know, so many straws that broke the proverbial camel's back. Miz being in the main event of WrestleMania. He's the type that if he's not good at something, that's not good enough. He wants to be the best in the world. To watch somebody literally just get handed this, you know, he likes to say, really? You know, that was me standing there like, oh, I, I just, I just didn't get it and he wanted to know everything there is to do in the, the wrestling business in general. It's a monumental slap in the face to somebody who has as much pride as I do. My favorite part about that DVD is like the entire time I'm just putting him over, putting him over, and then I watch him and I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> what? I hate Miz. <laughs> this guy didn't deserve shit. This guy took my fucking spot. He's a big piece of shit. He's Fuck a fucking Miz. asshole. Who gave this guy a belt, you fucking dork? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man, Punk is awesome. He was different, you know, we love Punk. Oh, fuck the Miz. <laughs> MJF says you might as well be out here preaching hustle, loyalty, and respect. Your whole career, you've been nothing but a second best, whether it be to the You Can't See Me Man or the King, King of Kings. <laughs> King of Kings. Ooh, Punk says last time you did a song and dance on this show, you were in the New York Times. Wow. Says you want to sing me a song, son? How about we sing a song together? <laughs> <laughs> you <don't> like music? <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't worry. Uh, you're standing in the ring with a professional, and you're going to make the New York Times again, but this time it'll be in the obituaries. Fuck, dude. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. The murder? He said, That's you've great. enrolled yourself in a college that you can't afford. You can't back your shit up without your backup. These are all killer lines. These are great lines, yeah. You're too busy talking about one, uh, being one of the four pillars, but you don't even realize you've been replaced by Britt Baker. You don't even realize you've been replaced by Britt Baker. Fuck it, that went fucking, fucking hard. Sweet. That was and the greatest honestly, line. There's, there could be something to argue there. There's Britt Baker should be. To that, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I. She might have yeah. taken over JB Jungleman, but well, you know. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Uh, there's probably Jungleman. arguments for honestly her being in place of all of them. Um, right. 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 Because right, it right. it's Jungle Boy, MJF, Darby, and who's the other one? Sting. <laughs> Colton. Colton Gunn. Who's the fourth? <laughs> Why can't I think of it? Isn't it Hangman? Uh, is it Hangman? Sammy Guevara. About <laughs> Long Island, New York. Uh, MJF's hometown. So MJF's music hits, but instead CM fucking Punk comes out. I thought that was fucking sweet. The crowd starts booing. They said, "Fuck that." Yeah, he Punk got booed here. That's awesome. That's that Punk CM Punk. Crowd's booing. Punk listens to his watch. I guess it wasn't clobbering time. It was Stone Cold style. <laughs> Listen to his watch. <laughs> uh, Punk gets in the ring. Starts just. Fuck it, this is CM Punk, baby. <laughs> he just starts going fucking in on this crowd. He, the crowd's booing. He says, that's all you got? <laughs> He's like, Chicago's louder. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then local sports team. The Islanders have yet to win a game in this building. Wow. See, that's not right. You all like hockey? Uh, he says... Continues talking about M. Jeff. He calls him an incel. This incel? This is your guy? <laughs> yeah, that was funny, said, this, this incel? 
This is your guy. This is your guy. <laughs> he's like, I'm compared himself to Roddy Piper. Then Roddy Piper in Portland when he's not even as good as Roddy Piper. He doesn't take the dog to hell or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the frogs in hell. <laughs> 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 There's a, a fuck your pizza chant. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. I don't even know what you are saying, man. I, I, mean, I, I can't, can't understand, understand you. Just like the Islanders don't know how to put a puck in the net. <laughs> Uh, there's an MJF chant real fucking loud. This is bizarro fucking world in the coolest way. It really uh, was, yeah. Punk says, I'm not mad at you. I just feel a little bit sorry for you. But I, I propose me and him settle this. And I don't want to deal with Sean Spears. I don't have to look at Wardlow, which I'm sure a lot of people disagree with. A lot of people love to look at Wardlow. <laughs> yeah, I can name one right I know, now. I know one person. Well, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, yeah. And if that's your guy, you're all chicken shit. <laughs> Fuck. This is, this is the punk that I've been waiting on. This is awesome. I love yeah, this. That yeah, it turned out really good. And this is yeah. how he's. This is where he's best. This is his yeah. good shit. Uh, MJF and FTR versus CM Punk, Darby Allen, and Sting. God, dude. So Sting comes out here, and he has this sweet punk face paint on. I was like, wow. Darby comes out with like, I think what was it like half like pink? Was it supposed to be like surfer Sting kind of colors? Yeah, yeah. It was? was supposed to be. Yeah, there was the era Sting where he okay. had the pink face paint. Yeah. And then I was like, man, that would be so cool if Punk came out in face paint too, but he probably won't, but it, was, it would be cool. Punk comes out in surfer sting fucking Chicago face paint. I was like, this is my motherfucker! I was <laughs> surprised so Punk came out with everything. Dude, he dropped to the knee for the It's Clobberin' Time thing, and he went, woo! I was like, let's fucking go! That's so sick! Yeah. Um, sting gets the tag in, crowd goes fucking nuts. Huge pop for this fucking guy, man. Love I wonder why. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, MJF goes, to, yeah, I know. Why would they fucking pop this guy? He lost your leg. <laughs> so did Punk. What the fuck? MJ <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. None of these guys are drawing you money. What's the deal? Yeah. <laughs> Six address are a lot. I'm hurt right now. I'm hurt now. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. God, dude. This guy's the fucking best. You pussy bitch. <laughs> he was running. He was running. He's afraid of me. He wouldn't even touch me. You all saw it. Yes. He was running like a scolding dog. Yes, he was. You all saw it. He's a punk. He's a punk. You had and him. And it ain't just because of his name. You had him. He was running. You like were a running. Little bitch. You were running. He was all running night. like a cow. That was awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. This whole fucking thing was cool. Dudley says all, pretty much all Wardlow's shit belongs to MJF and you're my bitch forever. Yeah, so basically if he wins the TNT title, it's mine. If it's the world title, it's mine. So any title that That's fucked up. Wardlow wins, he's got to give to MJF. I think Wardlow should whoop his fucking ass. <laughs> he doesn't have Finally. an AEW contract though. He does it. So where's he going to go? That's so weird. He should go to DPW. <laughs> War dog. War dog. War dog, come through, brother. You wouldn't have a girlfriend anymore, man. It'd be over. Shut the fuck up, Tony. Shut the fuck up. Wardlow shows up there, man. You're single. Sorry, bro. Yeah, whatever. I, I can't blame her. <laughs> and I don't want to deal with Sean Spears. I don't have to look at Wardlow, which I'm sure a lot of people disagree with. A lot of people love to look at Wardlow. Yeah, I can name one right I know, now. I know one person. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Wardlow versus CM Punk. Woo, Big boy. match. He's got new gear for it. Yeah, he looks fantastic. War dog on the back. Dude, Wardlow, fantastic worker. I love this match. And Wardlow starts the fucking power bomb symphony, baby. <laughs> Just, yeah, I thought Punk like, oh, he'll do one or two, and things. then Punk will roll out and they'll fucking sure. call it. But he hit like five in a row. He hit a ton of them, and then MJF stopped the ref from counting because Wardlow pinned him. Uh, MJF stopped the ref, and MJF said, I want more. And Wardlow picks him up and hit him with a fucking another. MJF wants another one. He does another one. And then they fucking go outside. Wardlow does it through a power bomb through a table. <laughs> Holy yeah, Punk fuck. Punk was bumping tonight. Hell yeah, he was going. Uh, Punk beats the 10 count, which was a real good job fucking selling that. Um, and then Punk gets the inside cradle for the win. And Wardlow fucking is not happy about that one. MJF gets in the ring and starts flipping out. Yeah. And... He does not kill MJF just yet. Wardlow drops the straps going up the ramp. <laughs> it's crazy. He's always pulling at those so fucking you know things. That awesome. Pissed. So is this the finish you thought was going to be? Did like, you like the finish? I did. I actually liked the okay. match a lot. I like so I like the match a lot too. The finish I wasn't as crazy about. I mean, I I I'm okay with it. It's fine. You know, Punk got killed with these fucking power bombs forever, and Wardlow wasn't able to kick out of like a small package. 
just thought um, because kind of it's goofy. Uh, the small package or uh, the business di- the business died twenty years ago. Sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> the small That's package true. is yeah, you're right. for those exact it's moments. Ma- I guess maybe the angle they showed too, because it was very obvious that nothing was keeping Wardlow from kicking out of with his shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, the business died twenty years ago. So whatever. This match was fucking fun, though. I did enjoy this. And now, Raw, SmackDown, and Xbox. This is a certified WWE Raw moment. John Spears versus CM Punk is up next. What a sick entrance this fucking guy has, man. Yeah, man, he's really cool as fuck. Really. He is. There's an MGF Sniffs Fart sign as well. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Tony? Sean oh. Spears. Okay, can I read this off uh, real quick? Uh, so Johnny, oh, Johnny wrote this on Twitter. Punk and oh, Sean Spears will have a very good match, and everyone will be surprised that Sean Spears is good, even though he has kicked ass for a long time now. Exclamation, exclamation, is, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Am I wrong, Tony? Was that wrong? Was it a very good match? That's not the point of what the tweet was. Was the was the tweet was the intent of the tweet wrong? And following this match, John Blood tweeted, "Fuck!" Exclamation! 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 exclamation. God. Now you know this match is probably going to get time, and then TK saw this tweet and said, "Hmm, fuck, man, me? Why is it my fault? Why would I do Why TK? You tweet it? Cool. You tweeted it, and then you uh, ruined it. People have called me a jinx lately, man. Too, this is fucked up, man. God." Well, this match lasts about all of five seconds. Fuck. CM Punk hits Sean Spears the GTS, and he wins. <sighs> Man, I was so excited. <laughs> you were so excited, excited you for were, this. You, I was so pumped. You're always overhyping everything. It's your fault. But this was I mean, every it's a fucking, time. Why would every I think time. Do this, Johnny. You get so excited. And that is. Punk is celebrating. MJF sneaks into the ring here, Whoa. but Punk turns around and faces him. Punk then grabs MJF by the scarf. MJF bells out of the ring. Punk keeps the scarf. Dancing with it. And he's chilling. I thought he was going to start, like, I don't know, spitting it or something. Or... He should have did the Val Venus fucking dry off my cock and balls with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have, a, I have a whole bunch of bits. He'll Griffin. do it for, like, three months. Number one! Sure. So we got the Pinnacle Town Hall to start things off. MJF <laughs> comes through the Cody entrance on a, a palaquin. A what? MJF comes to the ring. He's got, uh, I think, Gabby Ortiz on the left. Um, I recognize her. She kisses okay. him on the cheek. And yes. then I believe the one on the right says, like, in real life, girlfriend. If not, he took liberties. <laughs> she, or, she, or she took liberties. Someone yeah, who made knows? double liberties were taken here. But good yeah, good for sure. them. They look like they were having fun. Uh, Pinnacle does a little hoo-ha it, thing in the ring. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chance. Yeah, many of them. Uh, and he says, no, I got a lot of cool shit. So like, <laughs> he said, I just thought it, bro. <laughs> I got a lot of cool shit. We're talking about. Uh, MJF <laughs> says he pinned... Uh, CM Punk twice in Chicago, and yes. then after the second one, he came down and whispered to him, you suck. <laughs> that's, I swear that's something we've talked about before. <laughs> yeah, yeah going down that. and whisper, you suck, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Taking yeah. liberties, yeah. yeah. You suck! <laughs> uh, MJF says, I want to shout out the young man who I couldn't have done this without. Oh, yeah. And then Wardlow steps up to the plate. Camera gets it real nice. Sean Spears. Yeah, come on down here. <laughs> Sean, Spears Sean Spears says, thank you, thank you, thank you. He even looks surprised. And he's got MJF a new shirt. Yeah. You gonna shit. buy that? No. Don't eat. Don't eat. You got that? Uh, ShopAEW.com? Hell yeah. Yeah, you're on that? Yeah, all right. Someone's got to get it. I'm not getting it. No way. MJF <laughs> shoots a shot for the world <laughs> championship. Uh, and then, of course, CM Punk comes out here. <laughs> Did he even uh, have music? No, he just came out. No, he, yeah, he just came out. He's like, Tony did it on his head, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Anytime, I hear, anytime I hear CM Punk, <laughs> he just cracks open one. <laughs> Look at this. This is great. Uh, Punk then brings out some friends to help him I against guess, the pinnacle. Yeah, I learned from my mistakes, so I got some friends now to fight. And here comes Darby and his dad, Stank. I'm just says a lot here, man. In like three seconds here, you know how hard I've, I've had this problem for a couple of weeks in a row, where like these stipulations start fucking flying on this show, and I can't, it's a lot uh, to take it, in at once. Yeah, he's like, if you can beat FTR with any partner of your choosing, I'll give you a match anytime, anywhere, any stipulation, but you can't have Sting or Darby as your partner. Fuck you. Okay, so Punk, of course, is going to bring in Kojima. Uh, and I thought fun. he was bringing in the Fiend. <laughs> <laughs> Kojima, the theme Tony, who do you think he was bringing it? Danhausen. Yeah, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well that's honestly he the least the realistic one. Stable. I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we start off the night here. Uh, CM Punk Town Hall. 
Uh, he does his old stick. He says, he is straight edge and better than you. And he says, y'all remember that? Y'all sick of me talking? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> y'all like that? And what I am is straight edge. I'm drug free. I'm alcohol free. And that means I'm better than you. Does that sound familiar? Uh, and CM Punk says that he wants him versus MJF at AEW Revolution. Punk pulls out a dog collar from the box and says, hey, you guys remember the Greg Valentine Roddy Piper match? <laughs> Piper had his, now I have mine. Maxwell Jacob Friedman, will you be my Valentine? Uh, they were like, they'll, this whole thing was like, he had a box in the ring. At first I thought he was like, had an iPad or something. I don't know what it was. When he was sitting <laughs> no, in the dude, crossing. the other, Adrade has the iPad. I know, what but I thought he had an iPad for some reason, but he was reading, he's like the box and then the Valentine and then he brought up Piper and Valentine. And they're like, oh yeah, see, see what I did there? And that was a... Uh, the whole thing. I man. love hearing Greg Valentine on my screen. I never get to talk about Greg Valentine. Punk says, probably the greatest day of your life. To me, it was just a Friday. That was fucked up, dude. He just ended the whole man's career right there. This picture. You see it, Max? Possibly the greatest day of your life. And to me, it was Friday. MJF leaves without saying anything, which honestly says way more than he could have probably said. Yeah, that was perfect. I thought that was great. Punk says the canvas can be stained with your, not with your shitty little spray tan, but it's going to be stained <laughs> with your blood. And then MJF had nothing to say. Now we go to one of the uh, craziest things that I've seen in AEW because I did not expect anything like this. No. The MJF Town Hall. Uh, MJF is crying when he comes out. Uh, MGF pleads the crowd to hear them out as they are just booing the fuck out of him. Every time he tries to talk, they're just booing him. He's like, please yeah. hear me out. Uh, MGF says, meeting CM Punk might have been just a Friday to him, but it really did mean everything to MJF. You know, CM Punk, he showed a photograph last week and he said that for him it was just another Friday. Possibly the greatest day of your life and to me, it was Friday. For me, it wasn't. That day meant more to me than just a Friday. That day meant everything to me. He says that kids on the football team uh, threw quarters at him and told him to pick them up um, because he's Jewish, um, which I didn't expect this at all. No, yeah. Um, said the very least. Um, the only thing that cheered him up was getting the chance to meet CM Punk and that CM Punk made him believe that he could really be the best in the world. Today's Friday, and that means tonight I get to meet my hero, CM Punk, at an autograph signing. And then CM Punk left wrestling, and MJF said, well, if the best in the world can't cut it, then how could I ever cut it? So he wow. decided to quit on his dream and go to college. And then when MJF saw a picture of CM Punk shaking hands with Brian Danielson, uh, MJF said, I'm not going to fucking college, and decided that he is going to be a pro wrestler to spite CM Punk. And there is a photograph of CM Punk shaking hands with Brian Danielson. I was livid. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. This is all true. <laughs> Which, like, that's he a... named like the wrestling classic Instagram account. I actually follow that account. I just post like wrestling photos and shit. That's crazy. That and like they actually post like a thing in their story. It's like, yeah, that was true. Like, actually, MJF actually messaged us after that. And said, you'll see me in WWE one day. That's what MJF said to them. Punk says, this is a shoot? Is this real? Is that real? Is that real, man? Is that real? What's going on here? MJF mouth, I hate you. And then just left the ring. Is it true? Is that real? <laughs> Thankfully, CM Punk didn't grab the mic and re retaliate. I think that was for the best. Like this really, I did not expect anything like this. And I, and you know, I very much expect MJF uh, or, or Punk to like, I expect him to take it easy on MJF or something. And MJF just fucking kicks him in the nuts or does something to him or you know what I mean? Oh! Uh, Punk coming out and asking if it was a shoot was fucking just great. This revolution card actually, dude, is fucked in the head. It's actually. stacked <laughs> from top to bottom, dude. It's crazy. MJF versus CM Punk. Woo! up next here dog collar match Woo, wow this match was fucking great and fucking afi motherfucker yes oh, I, could, I could not believe it man when mjf came out to cult of personality i was like he wouldn't they wouldn't have him take the punk pop for that song 
interesting and then fucking oh my god dude cm punk not only that he comes up with the fucking the basketball shorts holy fuck Fuck. man with the jacket yeah with the xxx on the back of the jacket i've been waiting i've been waiting for four million years i had fucking genuine chills as this fucking guy made his entrance which is that's such a weird like fucking wrestling thing like before i was i was totally cool i had it it was five stars for me before the match even started yeah for real yeah (laughs) because i was so emotionally attached to this dude's fucking entrance and him wearing basketball shorts (laughs) I would have thought basketball shorts is like genuine chills, man. I like, I immediately was messaging everybody. I could, ah, ah. <laughs> James said I nutted. And I think was the response that I got. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, these guys beat the shit out of each other. Uh, the crowd was there for fucking everything, man. Punk uh, tries to hit him with another knee with his uh, knee chained up, uh, but MJF moves and. Punk does the Peter Griffin sell, which I oh, thought James would enjoy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this ring canvas is fucking disgusting, by the way. Just coated in fucking blood. MJF gets tax from underneath the ring. Uh, they're teasing this tax spot. Uh, they can't get it, go back and forth. Uh, eventually, they're on the top rope, and MJF does a superplex off the top, and all of the tax go into CM Punk's ass. Where they're, they're, trying <laughs> right to, like, show asshole, yeah. they're trying to show his back. They're trying to show his back. They show tax, and it's just all in his fucking butt. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a fucking shame. <laughs> Poor guy. And then MJF calls for Wardlow, and I was like, Son of a bitch, Wardlow. I'm I'm screaming at Deb. That yo, this is yeah. Do you see this fucker? <laughs> is this is what you like. <laughs> and MJF calls uh, for the dynamite diamond ring. And Wardlow's out here in a suit, and he reaches for it. It's not in these pockets. He's like, oh fuck, I don't have it. I was like, oh fuck. Punk drags MJF back. It's the fucking GTS. MJF bumps into the tax. That was Punk's, awesome. Punk staring at Wardlow. Wardlow's fucking big shitty smile. He's like, oh, here's the fucking ring. Gigantic fucking pop for this dude pulling out a ring <laughs> out of his yeah. pocket. He fucking puts the ring on the apron, leaves. The crowd's fucking going crazy. Punk fucking grabs the ring, brains MJF fucking with it, and gets the win. This is so wrestling, man. It's this so is good. Everything Fuck, I man. love about wrestling is just in this fucking match, dude. This was so fucking good. I loved it. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, it was, Tony! <laughs> I can't even believe this dude's wrestling still. Like, I can't believe he's back. It's still weird. I mean, it's... It and he's put like on, a, like... He's putting like, all-timer stuff here, which is It's like is crazy. a fucking legendary run right now, he, man. I remember when he first came in, I was like, oh, yeah, punk, yeah, he's back, but he ain't really doing much, and it's kind of yeah, falling flat. Right. And now it's like... This is like all timer stuff in his sure. career, like in his highlights of his whole entire career. Same with like Sting, I feel like too. But this like doing all timer stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. But yeah, man. Yeah, oh, very fuck. specific parameters that had to be met, and like, yeah, I don't know. this is just a very, very crazy company. Wardlow goes to powerbomb him on the floor, but fucking Sean Spears shows up on the stage. Fuck you, Sean Spears. I hate you. Two chairs. <laughs> two chairs. <laughs> two chairs. Mom He's got two it. chairs. Two whole chairs here. This is a whole nother. He's about to take it to that next level. <laughs> 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 Wardlow uh, does not go for the powerbomb because he's Sean Spears. Sean Spears very slowly comes down to ringside. Wardlow goes around the ring. He's about to get in the ring, and MJF comes out of nowhere and shoves him headfirst into the ring post. Damn this might be you. the greatest sell job I've ever seen Wardlow do ever. Look brutal. He looked like he died, and he sold it like he was shoot fucked up. That's awesome. Looked awesome. Sky rolls him up as Wardlow gets in the ring and gets the win. And then Austin Vanderford gets in the ring and attacks Wardlow because Paige Van Zandt wants to fuck him. And you know what, Austin? I'm with you, bro. Keep it up. Whoop his ass. Fuck that guy, <laughs> no man. No way, bro. Fuck that guy, man. Yeah, whoop his fucking ass, no, Austin Vanderford. No, he's got some words. Yeah, he's about to let him know. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sky, uh, everyone's whooping Wardlow's ass. That's awesome. Uh, MJF gets in the ring and and celebrates with Sky and them. (laughs) Sean Spears gets in the ring. The crowd is chanting CM Punk. CM Punk, not a friend of Wardlow, I guess. What a jerk. Um, Yeah, CM Punk don't care. Don't. 
<laughs> I don't care. Okay. Okay, man. <laughs> MJF lines up Wardlow with the dynamite diamond ring, and fucking, I was wondering because the shot they show of MJF holding the ring and Shaggy too dope with a yellow beanie on was at ringside, and I was hoping he would make the save, <laughs> but he did not. He did not make the save, and MJF hits Wardlow with the ring, and and he celebrates. What a bastard! Everyone in this is a bastard. Good segment. Um, it shows footage backstage as MJF's powdering of security beat up backstage. And one of them is shirtless. <laughs> and and Shivani said, what? Well, I just kind of got a shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, MJF then goes and powders by the guardrail. And then a security guard comes up behind him in a mask and hat. He's gigantic. Well, it's Wardlow. No, no. <laughs> Takes off the mask. I can't believe it. God damn it. <laughs> How over is this dude right dude, now, Dude, this man? is like the most pro wrestling segment ever, and it's like everything that I love about wrestling, actually. This is fucking, everything is perfect here. Yeah, this was really cool. Uh, Sean Spears hits him in the back with a chair, oh, and no. he doesn't sell it. Wardlow then goes to powerbomb Sean Spears. But literally an entire indie <laughs> roster of guys. The entire DPW Forever card <laughs> runs out to save this Sean This is Spears. crazy. With Sean Spears, and now the security. Vince sent to Warlock. Warlock just did a match like that. Oh, you hear that? What's behind versus uh, Dude, this one power bomb that Wardlow gives this dude is insane. He picks him up for this power bomb. I'm like, oh, where's he going? The quickest whip around to throw him at the apron that I've ever <laughs> seen. Dude, it was weird because he went under the bottom rope in the ring. The power bomb was. I don't even know. <laughs> it was like crazy. not even physically possible. I don't know what happened. No way. Bryce is still counting. So he goes up the ramp, snatches the mic, and says, whoa, 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 hold on now. Oh, Bryce, I will pay you triple. Whatever Tony Khan is paying you if you don't count 10. Bryce is at a nine count. He thinks about it, brings his hands down. Do your job. Ten, he's out. This is the second time he's beaten MJF, by the way. He beat him first time, the first DQ win in AEW history, and this was the first count out win in AEW history. Wow. That's, that's cool. awesome. MJF gets in Bryce's face after the match, and then Bryce does the Earl Hebner spot and pushes him. Yes, big fucking pop. Sean Spears has to, like, pull MJF away. He seals, buddy. Oh, wait a second. Oh, come on. There you go, Bryce. Look at Bryce. Fire up like a terror. Uh, Wardlow is now fighting the security <laughs> backstage. Why? Wardlow then grabs the camera and yells that he's not going to stop until he is freed from MJF's contract. <laughs> Get out of my way! <laughs> he literally has both hands on the camera, like, around his face. It's great. That's fucking crazy, man. This is like yeah. perfect they have been doing great with this fucking angle man this is great yeah no this is fucking really cool yeah so we go backstage mjf and sean spears are with tony shivani no way are you going to disrespect alex marvez like that you fucking asshole oh you know what it was probably alex marvez I, you know uh I think it was. I wrote down Marvez. Yeah. So I'm actually not too sure. It's Alec I, Marvez. I think it's Marvez. Uh, we go backstage. Uh, Swerve is with Tony Schiavone. Uh, MJF says he's a snake, and all it takes is one bite. And Sean Spears says, "I agree." You stupid, stupid, stupid. He pulls out an envelope, <laughs> and Jake Roberts comes up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! This I was is, so hyped for dude, this. Dude, me fucking too. He says, "Isn't that right, Mister Roberts?" And Jake said, oh, "Some people like diamond rings and championship belts, but that's for people who want to chase women and little boys. I chase this and on money. I want some money here." And he said, "War, you gotta know this Wardlow. It's like when you were a little kid. Uh, hell is for children." <laughs> <laughs> Hell for children, children but they're about to start beating them. <laughs> Holy fuck! I said, this is I this fuck, is all I ever wanted I in my life. I love Jake Roberts. <laughs> I actually, I actually cannot fucking stand the Lance Archer interrupting Jake Roberts shit. It, I actually can't stand. It. I actually so. I typically don't mind it, but in this instance, I thought it was it made him look not cool. Actually, let like Jake Rock let that's what he's here for. Right? What mm -hmm. are you even with him for? Yeah, like I get let it because like you know Roberts is supposed to be like a, still afraid of him because he's this monster. But like, yeah, no way. He was like the nicest dude in the world. He's everybody dies and he just softly shook the camera and <laughs> put it there and walked away. <laughs> he said, "I don't, I don't need no money. damn money. I just want to fight Wardlow." But, you know, he could have did that without the, the, the money, the, you know. I was hoping Jake Roberts would walk back into the scene and then pick up the envelope anyways. Yeah, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that later. Perfect. 
Uh, I just would like if they stop interrupting Jake Roberts. That's all I want is him to cut promos. I want him and Tully Blanchard cutting promos on each other. Actually, yeah, you can great. watch Ring of Honor. So we move on to Hook. <laughs> so we move on to the Hangman Page Town Hall. And Hangman says, you know, it'd be easy to tell you that I'm looking forward to facing Punk at the pay-per-view, but that's not going to happen. So there's not going to be a handshake or a masturbatory Bret Hart tribute match. <laughs> I'm going to kill CM Punk. You tell him. I said, yeah, fuck fu Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah, no, you tell him, Hangman. No, wait a minute. What was that? <laughs> he, yeah, he said, he said it's going to be a Shawn Michaels celebration oh, match. Tribute. Or something. God. <laughs> tribute. Oh, yeah, God. I don't know what he's saying. Hangman, this is like... I mean, not full heel, but this is definitely like... When he definitely said, he started off, uh, this is going to be a regular match. He's like, oh, boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks at somebody in the crowd. He says, listen, I see you out there with your CM Punk shirt, and I want you to look me in the eyes. When I'm done with him, you will be running back to the merch stands to get a refund if you haven't burnt that shirt already. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your beloved CM Punk isn't even here tonight. And if I were a betting man, which I am, I'd say he's off filming another TV show. <laughs> Holy Ooh, shit, man. Wowie. Wowie. Hangman says, I'm going to embarrass you. And you said you wanted a fight. You got one. And Punk, it will be the fight of your life. So Hangman is fired the fuck up here. I hope these guys. This was fucking... awesome, by the way. Yeah, I, did, I did end up catching this promo and. It this was, cool. was great. Yeah. This was fucking very cool. Hangman's got big old horse balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, I mean, that was the way to kind of feed into it. Cause you know, yeah. I mean, punk is like one of the most popular acts there. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, so I think that was a good way to take it. And I'm and sure I'm, this would be a hard hitting affair. And I'm, de I could definitely see punk being the more popular one at the pay-per-view too. So, yeah. which yeah, makes yeah. me think hangman might win. I think that, I mean, that's, I, this is like one of those matches where it's like, it's really up in the air. Yeah. And like, okay you only have four pay-per-views a year, sure. like, that's a yeah. good deal to me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Punk has so many, like, strings yeah. that they never really cut off. Sure. That, like, having that championship mm -hmm. kind of makes those strings come There's back. There's a lot of, uh... Stuff. It makes it'll make a lot of things more easy just to line them up for a title shot, and it just happens that Punk is the champion. But I mean, Hangman, I'm fucking, I love me some Hangman, so I'm okay either way. And up next we have Wardlow taking on MJF's mystery opponent here. MJF comes out and he says, "I'd say it's cool to be back here in Maryland, but I'd be a lying piece of shit." And Jr. says, "That's already been established." Yeah. Well, that has already been established. <laughs> <laughs> MJF says, look, everyone, it's Wardlow. 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 <laughs> Where is Wardlow? <laughs> He's right here, man. Fuck. <laughs> Hear enough of this shit. He says, Wardlow, I'm not staying out here because I can't look at these disgusting pigs for one more second. I want to watch the match in the back, but you should be terrified of the man that is about to come through this curtain. A man that's never taken an L in his life. Tony Pizza Guy's favorite wrestler, the big dub, William dub Morrissey. Morrissey. <laughs> Hits one powerbomb on W. Morrissey here, Tony. Were you, how'd you feel about that? One powerbomb for the win. We have an MJF and Wardlow contract signing here. Uh, Wardlow comes out. Uh, his Tron says, boo Wardlow with thumbs down emojis on it. That was great. <laughs> a little hand popping up over and over. Security is uh, bringing Wardlow down here. They do a fake dark side of the ring uh, commercial uh, voiced over by Chris Jericho. This is fantastic. Uh, Holy shit, this is great. It's, it's a dark side of the ring episode about MJF and Punk's match. <laughs> and they have the Jericho narrating, which is even better, which is hilarious. Yes, Jericho says, wait, is this for MJF? I'm not narrating for this asshole. Between AEW's top star MJF and PG Punk? Hold on a second, is this for MJF? I'm not narrating for that asshole after all we've been through. Wait, how much is it? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> how much is he paying? Okay. AEW's greatest star of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, they have Taz and Jake Roberts and Barry Horowitz talking about this <laughs> match. Uh, Jake Roberts, uh, his description is the snake guy. It says, Warlow, you're a bad man. You gave the ring to the wrong guy. <laughs> uh, they talk about MJF losing to Sean Dean. Barry Horowitz comes on, patting himself on the back, saying Sean Dean is a jobber. <laughs> Sean Dean is a jobber. <laughs> that, that was so fucking good. <laughs> I agree, Barry. I agree. <laughs> Sorry, Cat. Low sevens in the chat. <laughs> oh, shit. That's awesome. Uh, Holy shit. Eventually, MJF's music hits a huge pop. Uh, and then we get in the ring here. There's security lined up here. Some of them look like security that have been on our shows. Uh, so MJF uh, saying, under no circumstances, wink, wink. Would I ever want all of you in the building to get out of your seats whenever Wardlow's going to speak and boo him? <laughs> so Wardlow goes to speak, and of course, everyone boos him. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Uh, eventually, uh, he still does not let Wardlow talk, so Wardlow never really gets to talk here. MGF says, you're the worst, and karma is coming your way. And if you wrestle me a double or nothing, I'm going to whip your ass. 
Uh, and I'm not going to whip you three times or four times or five times or six times, Sean Spears. And Sean Spears slowly takes off his jacket, gets in front of Wardlow, and he throws up the ten. <laughs> <laughs> ten times. So for Wardlow to uh, to continue on here, it's kind of similar to the, the Cody thing here. The lashes. He's going to have to take the lashes. ten lashes from MJ. They got to get that new video package. Redo it. With new with video. <laughs> with the lashes and everything. Gotta get the ten lashes with, with somebody else. <laughs> we do it. <laughs> do it again. And better. It's actually insane. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> run it all back. Fuck off. Literally running every fucking bit of it back. That's crazy. The next simulation, they run it back again. Wardlow has to take 10 lashes, and then Wardlow is getting in a cage <laughs> to wrestle Sean Spears. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> and Sean Spears go off the top moonsault. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Sean off Spears moonsault? Or what? I think so. Oh, wow. I think so. Wardlow moonsault, yeah. So there is. Do it again. <laughs> Wardlow could never be world champion either as well. <laughs> <laughs> you will never get a shot at the world title if you do this. Oh. So Wardlow agrees to this. He goes to uh, he goes to Warm <laughs> out Holy This shit. is now called Wardlow to the top. <laughs> You're uh Wardlow then power bombs Mark Sterling through a table and, and kills him. So there you go. We're back from break. Uh MJF time. Uh it is time to give my man Wardlow his lashes. Yeah, he the first time ever, him. the first lashes we've ever Do seen in the again! before. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. For the Do house. it again! <laughs> and then we'll get a cage match that we've never done before. <laughs> Do never! Moonsault? Never ever! <laughs> oh, there's a moonsault. <laughs> Four dog does a moonsault. Holy shit. Four dog does it? Holy fuck. He's uh, got you now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> handcuff, no shirt, moonsault up the top. Holy shit, man. He got these shots on He's handcuffed the in the cage. What the on top of the cage, he climbs <laughs> with his feet. He climbs. <laughs> <laughs> so MJF comes oh, out here for the lashings here. He says, everything is bigger in Texas and because I'm looking at a bunch of dumb, grotesque, fat hicks. And then we go to the back. And this is just full on Goldberg entrance now. It's not even pretending anymore. This is he started with on. his shirt off here. Well, because I guess they figured, ah, uh, well, can't get his shirt off with these cuffs on. Hey, look at that. <laughs> By default. He looked good here. Come I'm on, saying. man. Uh, but Wardlow gets. Uh... I'm sick of the fucking redheads with the glasses all talking about Wardlow around me, bro. <laughs> I'm out of no. <laughs> It does happen quite a bit. So, you know. uh, so Wardlow comes out here. Uh, he gets in the ring with his shirt off and he stands there. I swear to All God, right. there was no hesitation. MJF whipped the shit out of him. No way, bro. Well, MJF Hell spit in yeah. his face first as well. Oh, but yeah. But then yeah. MJF just started, what? MJF just started <laughs> whipping the fuck out of him. <laughs> you too, Tony? And too, and too, Tony? Yeah, that was Tony. <laughs> yeah. Orlo is getting whipped. And he's smiling. Make sure Cody looks like a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Don't sell that Poor shit. smile. He enjoys it. Mm. He likes that shit, man. Yeah. Well, fuck, huh? Well, weird mm. fucker, man. So that's spit. fucked up. Uh, what? And that's and he whips him. <laughs> he keeps crazy. whipping him. Wardlow's like bouncing his titties while he's getting whipped. MJF mm, gets smiling. frustrated. Hey, man. Mm. <laughs> what? Hey, you. You I'm read just it. I'm right. You're describing it, okay? <laughs> Let me just close my eyes and picture this. Say it again. You watched it. Last. Give me Say a picture. It again, no, I want to picture it all over so again. MJF gets again. frustrated and he's hitting Wardlow just a mm. ton of times with his belt. Mm -hmm. Use the spit. And MJF. <laughs> <laughs> he lashes him real good. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we move on to the AEW World's Championship match. Hangman Adam Page versus CM Punk. Wow, wow, wow. I uh, I didn't think they were going to do it. I think the crowd was a little beat up at this point. This is, what, four, too, man. four or five hours? <laughs> you you think that or you were also beat up? <laughs> I done shit my drawers twice. <laughs> <this show. laughs> I uh, felt very bad for Punk, uh, who attempted the Punk shot multiple times. Uh, to no yeah, avail. So good. Stop doing that. Times. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Sorry about that. Hangman hits the dead eye, which gets a fucking 2.9 and 9 to 9 9. Uh, CM Punk's 
ass cheeks were all out during that dead eye. <laughs> no, this is double or nothing. <laughs> 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 they go to the outside. Uh, Hangman just fucking launches Punk over the timekeeper's table. The hangman taunts with the belt, and then the referee takes it and puts it on the apron. And I was like, hmm, very interesting. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, damn, somebody, somebody turning here? What's going on here, son? Hangman goes for the buckshot. Uh, Punk catches him in the GTS, but they spin around and bump the referee. And then Hangman fucking lariats his head off. He checks on the ref. He realizes the ref is out. He realizes that the belt is on the apron. He goes over and grabs the belt. And he's going to fucking deck Punk with this. I'm like, whoa, Ooh, fuck. Do that, it, do if, it, do it. If Punk is losing, this is like the way that he should fucking do it. I'm cool with this. Fucking yeah, yeah. take his goddamn head off. Fuck this guy. He didn't do it. He uh, dropped the belt. He goes for the buckshot. And uh, Punk catches him. Go to sleep. Punk wins. Punk is the AEW champion. CM Punk wins. Wow. Punk is the AEW champion. All right, so we got MJF (laughs) versus Wardlow opening this one. Wardlow, where is Wardlow? Where is Wardlow? Enough, man. I'm about you say one more thing. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in the room with them. (laughs) Wardlow. (laughs) Damn reckoning is the boss. Or do we get this match? Is MJF on a plane out of here? He's leaving Uh, Vegas. He splits Bill Brother. We're talking about the controversy, Tony. The weekend controversy of MJF. This was crazy. How much were you following any of this, James? Do you even know what's going on? I fell to my knees in Walmart when I heard this. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, I just saw this dude fall to his knees in Walmart. (laughs) So, for those that may have not seen this. by the bait and tackle place in Walmart. (laughs) Got a notification. MJF's on a flight. I fell to my knees. It was all. It wasn't because MJF was on a flight. It was because Wardlow possibly wasn't going to have a match. (laughs) That was all Dev was concerned about. Damn, I'm pissed at Wardlow. I was like, fuck off. You know what? How could he do this? This is Wardlow's breakout moment. Now he's going to take his ball and go home. So if, for those of you that may have missed it, there was controversy that MJF didn't show up to a meet and greet. People were pissed. I don't know if people like got money refunded. Oh, that. dude, that reminds me. Uh, I had tickets to go to an anime convention this weekend, Whoa. and I no-showed every single oh, day. And didn't go. <laughs> Sorry about that. All the anime <laughs> ice out there. To no pressure. You got to do the airplane arms when you get in the ring. <laughs> yeah, which, which one of you guys out there buying the MJF meet and greet? <laughs> Let me know. I can make fun of you for free. <laughs> Wardlow just ran through them, huh? They gave Wardlow big fucking big entrance. <laughs> he was like locked in a room. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Well, he what was room. What the fuck here? was that? It was like a glass Dude, I case. love their response on commentary when they saw, oh, they're locked in that, uh, locked in that hockey window. They do bad no, things in the hockey. He's in the asylum. <laughs> he whoops his ass. Power bomb city, pins him, takes his foot off of him at two, power bombs him some more. <laughs> I think it was 10 total, I believe. Yeah, he fucked yeah, man. times. It was Dude, crazy. MJF was like, please just stop. <laughs> Yeah, man. By the end of it, man, he was just taking the elbows on the mat. He said, please, just fuck. Yeah, was you know what I heard in the bro. rumors in the dirt the sheets? Is they, the dirt he sheets? Power, he powerbombed him so many times because he missed the meet and greet. He did it for the, the people? <laughs> yeah, it was punishment. TK said, do it. Do it One again. more time. <laughs> Bryce, tell him to do it again. Tell him to take his foot off. Uh, the crowd was super hot, and then it went so long, the beatdown, that the crowd just stopped cheering. But it got then, uncomfortable. Yeah, then at the end, they were cheering yeah. again. So. As we're forgetting the best part, they put MJF on a stretcher, and he was getting stretchered out. Oh, they did stretcher him out, and then they fucked his face up with the fucking... They are trying to kill him. <laughs> kill him! His eyeballs <laughs> needed oxygen. It, they was were trying... not, it, was, it was a lethal dose. <laughs> and MJF was trying to avoid it. That's like a legit doctor or something that did it, too. That was crazy. Dude, Dude on. I fell to my knees in Walmart when I heard this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just saw this dude fall to his knees at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>